It's an important get healthy topic as kids return to the classroom. Vision screening, you know, the eye exam, really important as they, you know, prepare to undertake all those studies again, doing all the reading and working the eyes. Joining us now is Dr. Allison Lowe of the Elks Children's Eye Institute at Casey Eye Institute at OHSU. And Dr. Lowe, I mean, you pointed out immediately when you sat down on the couch just how important it is to reach kids early. Yeah, um, vision screening and yearly vision screening is so important, um, especially when children are younger. Our vision is still developing until we're about seven years old, and then after that, our vision's kind of locked in. So it's so critical um, to have children be have children get a vision screening while they're still little. Is it uh, the three to five year range that you sort of focus on because that's when you can detect problems? Yeah. The um, Oregon Elks, as I had mentioned to you earlier, um, help support us do vision screening um, in all the local um, head starts throughout Oregon. And so that three to five year old area is really important. 15% of three to five year olds need to wear glasses. Boy, and you rarely see mm -hmm. children in that age group yeah. with glasses. As far as the eye exam goes, I know when I would take my children when they were younger, the pediatrician would do a screening. Yeah. Is that enough? Um, yeah, I think that's a great first step. Um, children who then don't pass that vision screening by the pediatrician would then get referred for a complete eye exam by an eye doctor. But that's a perfect first step for all kids. As a parent, what do I want to see them checking for? Is it basically reading the chart or does it go beyond that? Yeah, so for kids that are able to read the chart, that's a great way. Um, now there's a lot of photo screeners, um, which is like a small camera that um, is able to calculate whether or not children need glasses and also whether their eyes are aligned. And so um, kids can get referred for eye crossing or drifting if they don't pass those vision screens. When a child is struggling to see, you know, mm. it's so hard to detect for a parent because yeah. it might become the norm to them. You know, mm. I know I've heard stories where yeah. children get glasses and they're yeah. like, wow, now I can see the board yeah. at school. Should I be watching for certain things in my child? Yeah, I think it's really important um, when there are a lot of children that initially are diagnosed with an attention issue or a learning disability when in fact they just need glasses. So um, it's good to keep that in mind and the pediatrician to keep that in mind when thinking about struggles that children are having at school. Will a child complain of maybe eyes burning or a headache or anything like that? Um, sometimes, although the challenge with eye issues is often kids don't know because that's all they've known is what they see. So that's why the vision screening is so helpful and all kids should get it because sometimes kids don't even realize that they could see better because that's all they've known. Absolutely. I'm curious as to whether, um, you know, kids uh, tend to mention it or like you say, yeah. they just wait for this eye screening and, yeah. and, you know, they don't have any idea that something's going on. I know. I would say, even though it's kind of shocking, the average three year old who may have really poor vision is just running around <laughs> like they they don't realize that they can't see or if they don't see well out of one eye and they see well out of um, the other eye with both eyes open they don't even notice that they have a problem. I'll often hear a parent say oh I should have expected it you know my husband and I both wear glasses. Oh yeah. Are mm -hmm. eye issues hereditary? Yes that's a really good point so um, if both parents are very nearsighted or wear glasses um, chances are that the, your children would probably need glasses too. And it stays with me, you say 15% mm -hmm. of young children mm -hmm. need glasses yeah. and probably are not aware. Yeah. All right. Dr. Lowe, thanks for coming in Thank today. Thank you for having and, me. And uh, a good resource as far as those free eye exams, how would a parent find those? Yeah, so um, I think their pediatrician is a good place to start, um, but also Head Starts and public libraries offer free vision screening as well. All right, good to know. Thank, Thank you. you.